Hey Boulder. You seem chill. Woof. Wanna hang out for a sec? Like a towel in a tree? Yeah, you do. Grab a gallon of milk and kick your feet up. I got a question. How are you doing? Oh, uh, not you. Sorry. How about you? How you doing? I'm doing great. All right, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. We appreciate it. All right, how are y'all doing? Awesome. Great. Cool. That's it. <laughs> <Appreciate Okay. laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Boulder. And so is Anita Lidley, who loves asking people how they're doing. So one of the first things I've um, done is work in um, hypnotherapy and helping people release traumas in their lives. Um, traumas from, it could be anything from abuse to um, a single traumatic incident. So it's, the, it's a form of hypnotherapy which helps um, release traumas. And I had the um, an added benefit of receiving therapy um, for myself with this and it was very successful and it's a really nice way to um, just take care of yourself. It's hard to take care of yourself. People always say they're doing great, but are they? It's like poop on the sidewalk. It's beautiful boulder where people live the fastest. But if you put your nose down and really look, you'll be astounded how much gross poop is everywhere. I mean, gross. But cut yourself some slack because therapists like Lightly know how hard it is to pinpoint the poopier parts of life. I think people hide behind what's really happening because it, it, you can you can appear to be fine but what's not happening is there's you know there's there's been some events in our lives with covid and people are hiding and being more more um internalized so they're not expressing um mentally what's happening to them and i feel like that's what's wrong that's that people need to be made aware of mental you know any mental illnesses um what what they can do to educate themselves and how to how to get better um, by doing you know in some internal self healing work. You know, even things like eating oatmeal can be taken for granted. It's something so simple, but not everyone can do it. There's always a balloon holding your perspective back, and to gain an understanding of your fellow human, sometimes you have to pop it. He, my 12 year old son was born with uh, food allergies, very severe food allergies. And in the last, and he's 12 years old now, so he still has them. And I ended up working with one of my mentors, helping Luke um, under hypnotherapy to um, heal his food allergies. And a couple of days ago, he is allergic to dairy, egg, and was wheat and was soy. And now a couple of days ago, he tried his egg for the first time and um, it was successful. No allergen, yeah, thank you. 